Hey, Stuart fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to our Pittsburgh Steelers news and review video here on a Thursday. Before we jump into Mel Kuyper's most recent two-round mock draft, some fascinating picks here we're going to dive into and give you a full look at. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because the NFL draft, it's like less than two weeks away. Like literally two weeks from, I guess, today will be April 28th because it's Thursday. So if you guys want all the latest draft coverage, follow us here, subscribe down below. All right, so I want to go ahead and jump into this uh, two-round mock draft from ESPN's Mel Kuyper Jr. Now, of course, is Mel Kuyper Jr. going to get every single draft pick right? No. Is Todd McShay? No. Is Ian Rappaport, NFL Network, whoever you think about? No. Draft experts can only do so much because crazy things happen in the NFL draft. Although, I will defend Mel Kuyper for a second. I think it's a pretty good job. And as we get closer and closer to the draft, he starts to really hone in on where he expects players to go in terms of the range of the first two rounds. Not necessarily this guy's going to go to this team, but this guy's going to go top five, you know, top 10, top 15, you know, top 25, wherever it is. And so with two picks in the first two rounds, he has some very interesting selections for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, here are the first five picks for the Steelers, just to go ahead and give you some fresh, you know, a refresher, even though we're only going to see the first two picks during this mock draft. You have 20 overall, and you have 52 overall there in round two. You have 84 overall in round three, 138, and then in round six, 208. And so, not necessarily the most draft ammo they've ever had, but plenty to fill some holes, get the job done, hopefully have a very good draft here in 2022. All right, let's go jump right into it. Number 20 overall, Courtney Mel Kuyper Jr. is... Kenny Pickett, the quarterback out of Pittsburgh. Now, I was very surprised by this one. Not because the Steelers took a quarterback. We talked about it. You know, they have some quarterbacks on the roster, and they don't necessarily need one, but they probably want to get the future if they really love somebody. But Pickett fell to 20 in this mock draft. You start going through some of the picks, as we'll see here with Mel Kuyper, not gone to the Pittsburgh Steelers, other uh, team selections. It's very interesting. Like, this is a—he falls, and maybe that happens in the NFL draft, but Pickett is considered the most pro-ready quarterback in this draft, and so I guess if he's there at 20, the Steelers won't be able to pass up on him. I would just be very surprised if he is actually there at 20 because I think teams are going to take him inside the top 10. Carolina at number 6 is a very good likelihood, and so the odds of, uh, I think, Pittsburgh just letting him fall into his lap without having to trade up to me is very, very unlikely. Now, here's some um, picks that happened uh, right around where Pittsburgh was picking in the 20s to see where some other guys went off in Mel Kuyper's mock draft. Charlie Cross, or Charles Cross, I should say, the tackle went to the Texans. Trent McDuffie, the corner, went to the Baltimore Ravens. Chris Olave, possible wide receiver target to Philadelphia at 15. Chargers took Jordan Davis, and New Orleans Saints took Jamison Williams, who went one above, uh, of course, one pick from before the Steelers would pick. I saw a uh, couple of tweets today saying Jamison Williams might be a top 10 draft pick. Teams are expecting him to go inside the top 10, so take that for what you will, but that's how Kuyper had it all uh, gr graded out. We're going to hear from Rep, uh, Mel and his thoughts on, on why they took or why he mocked Kenny Pickett to the Steelers here in just one second. First, grade the pick. If he's there at 10 or there at 20, the Steelers got him, what would you give the grade for the overall pick? A, B, C, D, or F? Let me know down below right now during the pick comment. All right, so here was Mel Kuyper's initial thoughts on uh, why he went with Kenny Pickett. We'll throw it up on your screen right now. Quote, I feel much more comfortable taking Pickett here than I would in the top 10. Best case scenario is that he becomes a Derek Carr, and his floor is an Andy Dalton. This isn't a bad quarterback by any means. Pittsburgh can win with that. Still, those uh, two were taken in round two and didn't have round one expectations surrounding them. If Pickett falls in the Steelers' lap here, he'd be tough to pass up. And he has a little more upside than Mitch Trubisky, end quote. I, I don't disagree with any of this. I mean, I would much rather take him at 20 than I would trading up multiple draft picks to go and get him at number 10. Is he... Does he have, I guess, yes. He has more upside than Mitch Trubisky because he's an unknown. Trubisky, technically, you, he isn't known. Although, I would argue Mitch Trubisky is very much a unknown prospect right now because he's reimagined himself. He's revamped himself. He could be a really good quarterback and the quarterback that was drafted to be, you know, number two overall to UNC many, many years ago. Not many, but, you know, a couple of years ago here. So, I don't hate the pick. If he falls, then sure. You want to get your next quarterback? You like Kenny Pickett? Take him. But I would just be very surprised if he falls all the way down to number 20. What do you guys think? Will Kenny Pickett fall all the way down to two number 20? You think he will? Type Y down below for yes. You think he will not? Like I do, go ahead and type N down below for no. Now, I mentioned the NFL draft and what we do here at Chat Sports. We got you guys covered, I mean, from head to toe in terms of the NFL draft. We will have the live seven round draft coverage on our main Chat Sports channel. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe. It's fun, it's informative. It's not just like sitting there going, this guy, he's tall, he's fast, it would make your team really good. It's like, hey guys, this is who, who, who your team picked. I, I think it's a good pick. Is it a bad pick? Who knows? It's a lot of fun. I've been a part of it for the past three years. It's been a very, very good time. Chat Sports Talk, our YouTube TV, Sports Fest, Chat Sports TV, or just click the description box down below in the description box. Subscription little thing, and you can be a part of, of course, our main Chat Sports coverage here on uh, the NFL Draft. Uh, let's move over here to round two. I want to quickly give you some other notable picks from Mel Kuyper's uh, mock draft in terms of where pe people went. Carlo took Traylon Burks, number 23 overall. The Bucks took Devontae Wyatt at 27. The Chiefs took Andre Booth, the corner out of Clemson at 29. The Jets took Tyler Linderbaum, so he was available. He just didn't take him at number 20. Uh, the center out of Iowa at 31. 
And David Ajabo went 34 overall, which I, I, I think Ajabo in the early second round, not the late second round, makes a ton of sense. All right, so 52 overall, Stewart State put. And how about this? John Mechie, the wide receiver out of Alabama. How excited would Stewart fans be if they got John Mechie in round two? At 52 overall, if he's actually going to be there, I'd be surprised. But, man, this would be an incredible get for the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is a former first-rounder who would have for sure been one of the first wide receivers taken. Not the first, but one of the first wide receivers taken. Had he not tore his ACL last December. All Everything I've read is that he's good to go. He's healthy in terms of it was a proper uh, um, uh, surgery. It went well. It wasn't one of those, you know, o o OBJ, for instance, in his Browns career. He tore his ACL, had ba a bad surgery there. So expectation is that uh, the ACL is going to be just fine. He should have a chance to play if maybe all of 2022, but at least early in 2022. Himmel Kuyper wrote about uh, the pick to, of sending John Mechie to the Steelers in his mock draft. Wrote up on your screen, quote, Mechie tore his ACL in December. He's had a fantastic season. 96 catches for 1,142 yards and eight scores. He can play in the slot and make a difference in the middle of the field for the Steelers, which lets Juju Smith, with, with, let Juju Smith-Schuster walk uh, in free agency. Mechie would be able to recover uh, to play in week one and potentially help uh, Kenny Pickett, end quote. So, again, you look at the depth chart, no more Juju Smith-Schuster, and you need a little bit of help. You need to figure out who's going to go ahead and add to the Chase Clay pool Deontay Johnson, if Johnson doesn't hold out, which is a possibility, uh, wide receiver depth chart, and the thought process is here, you have a good running back, you try to revamp the offensive line, and so if you did take Kenny Pickett, or if it's not Pickett, it's Mitch Trubisky, you at least give him a couple of weapons alongside Najee Harris and the guys on the outside to go ahead and help out. Mechie, an incredible player. Again, if he's there, if he's going to be there, which is a big if, would be, ooh, it would be a very, very fun pick. Smash the like button down below if Pittsburgh needs to add an another wide receiver at some point in the draft. Yeah, another receiver. Give this video a thumbs up. I think a lot of you guys would agree. Of course, make sure you guys are subscribed for our draft coverage here on the channel as well, leading up to the NFL draft. I mean, oh, any news, any rumors, any trades, we got it all covered here. Myself and the rest of the guys at Chat Sports, go ahead and hit that red button down below. Um, okay, so let me just say this. When we look at the rest of this draft, and we look at the rest of this mock draft, you look at the rest of what the Steelers can do with their picks, it all revolves around one thing. The entire Steelers draft rests on their quarterback decision. Because, as you saw here, this would indicate they aren't big on Mitchell Trubisky. They kind of signed him as a, you know, bridge quarterback or just kind of a, a, a project. We'll see what happens. And so you had to take one in the first round. But if they love Mitch Trubisky and they don't have to spend a first-round draft pick on a quarterback this year, they can get two high-impact players in the first two rounds, like two instant starters. That's the expectation. When you draft someone in the first and second round, the expectation is you will be a starter day one, and you will contribute day one. And if you if you, if you don't get two players in the first two rounds, then you fail it as a GM. So, again, it all depends what they want to do at quarterback. Kuiper says, hey, Kenny Pickett falls, take him. All right, I understand. But if they can avoid that and if they love Mitch Trubisky, oh, boy, it could be a lot of fun. All right, well, well, one more time. Again, pick it here at number 20. You know, it's it's not bad. I, I, it's it's just interesting to me to see a quarterback like Pickett who's going to go in the top 10 fall in a mock draft from Kuiper. I bet Mike, Mel Kuiper's mo last mock draft, like his ne mock draft next week, which we'll cover, has Pickett going a little bit earlier because I think he's going to go maybe six to Carolina. Mitch Mechie, love it. I mean, this is a classic case. A receiver gets hurt. You know, okay, that happens. Stinks in college, but... Your draft stock falls a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and pick you up to be an instant impact player on what will be a very good offense pending quarterback play uh, next year for the Steelers. All right, grade this mock draft. Again, it's just a two-round. It's short, but it's sweet. Grade the mock draft. Scale of 1 to 100. Let me know what you guys think down below right now in the comment section. I... I mean, the 70s or 80s, it could be plus, B minus, maybe. I think that that's fine. Let's see what you guys' grade is in the comment section. All right, ultimate day on our Pittsburgh Steelers news and rumor video here. At, look at Mel Kuyper's mock draft. Plenty more coverage. Be sure to subscribe. Plenty of great uh, content here on the channel upcoming. For our Steelers channel, I'm Thomas Mott, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.